Hello everybody! Today we've got a deck featuring Darkrai V-Star and Galarian Weezing. As always, the deck list is in the description. And don't forget the giveaway! I'll be giving out free PTCGL codes to a subscriber who answers today's mystery question. Somewhere in this video, I'll ask you a question. Comment your answer below and I'll be picking a winner at random and giving them the latest PTCGL codes. Enjoy the video! Got a pretty weird start with just the Greninja in the front, but... We might be able to draw into something. So concealed cards. Draw two, not great, but we got a nest ball. We'll go ahead and take. We would want to squawk a billy. How many ultra balls do we have? Don't really want to squawk Billy. I think I'd rather get a Dark Cry and a Moltres. I think that's the way to go. Cause we do have the Iona next turn. <clears throat> So we're gonna go ahead and Ultra Ball. Two more away. Probably should have Trekking Shoes first for the Darkrai. Grab that, watch us run into a Darkrai with the Trekking Shoes. Give it a shot, Dark Patch. Honestly, pretty good. Go ahead and Dire Flame Wings for 10, not for 10, for an energy. Dark Patch another, onto the Darkrai. And we will end our turn. Discarding the cross switcher would also be solid because of Dark Cry V-Star's ability. Getting two item cards from our discard pile into our hand. Kind of a uh, a la carte Dark Cry cross switcher situation. The crushing hammer is not a big deal because this deck does get energies from the discard, but they got tails anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The Mimikyu, I will say, is annoying. The Noivern is not as much because we have both evolved Pokemon and non-V, so we can kind of get around it. Honestly, have no idea what's up with the Voltorb. Let's see. You go second, choose up the two your bench Pokemon for each of those, get a basic. Okay, so that's super sweet for them. They're going to be getting energies for the, for, for the Noivern. What am I fucking now from Team Rocket? For the Noivern. Um, so... Well done to them, Space Gnome 1. I applaud you for your sick first turn. That is the big problem of the Noivern deck, is to get the requisite energies for the attack, because it's darkness and psychic. So, well done, well done. Can this be used any other time? Use, you can use this attack only if you go second and only during your first turn. Okay, yeah, so it just worked out for them. They actually put it on the Mimikyu, interesting. Well, that's fine, because I'm going to go ahead and nest ball for coffee. Let me make sure Weezing's here. Weezing is here, so that's good. And Evolve and Iono. So a hand of six goes to six for them, but at least I get to draw some cards. Maybe I put them into a bad hand. We can always dream. I think we have one energy, Um, so I don't no yet we'll poke stop for sure but we'll nest ball first fill out the bench get another one and i think we're gonna hold this nest ball so that we can ultra ball something we don't need away but first poke stop one heavy ball and two really good supporters straight into the trash that stinks all right well just one energy I think what we want to do is put it onto the coughing actually the dark patch I'm trying to do some math here it's very difficult we could hold off we might get ionoed so we might not want to do that yet um but we could also discard an energy so i'm actually going to dire flame wings instead and what could be in, I don't think anything we need is worth the heavy ball right now. And yeah, don't want to use the V-Star ability either. So I think, unfortunately, we're going to call it a turn. But if we don't get Iona, we should have a big turn next. I'm cool if this Greninja gets knocked out at this point. I mean, I would prefer it didn't, but um, I can live with it. Um... 280, I believe, is Noivern EX. We'll find out in a second. I don't know how long they'll sit with the Hisuian Voltorb. But I gotta say, the Darkrai, like, 
turbo Darkrai build that's kind of been with us since Darkrai EX. Like, I have a certain muscle memory with it. I love this deck. They do Jock, so they're definitely evolving. 260, so we should be able to hit that fairly easy. Let's see. Let's say we had six energies down, six times 30. That gets us to 210. So six, seven is 240. So we need eight darkness energies down. And we've got three, but we've also got coughing coming up next because they use Jacques, so we're not going to get Ionoed. We will be doing the Iono wing ourselves. Nestash. Nice stash. Thank you. Hmm. I, I actually prefer them to put the Noivern out first. If they don't, like, I'm going to use my sweet time and build up this energy situation because they're not one-shotting me. The only thing that's inconvenient... Oh, I know what we need a heavy ball for. It's actually really important. The uh, Galarian Moltres. The only problem is we don't have any energies in our hand to make it useful. So I'm going to go ahead and Pokestop first. <clears throat> Hopefully get some darkness energies into the discard. Nope, okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, we want to get the heavy ball to get it out of the prizes, right? And then I think we'll Iono after we evolve. And we can't nest ball this Galarian Moltres. Its ability won't work like that. So instead, we're going to put it back in the deck with Iono and try to get it in our hand with some darkness energies, which have been eluding us thus far. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Two cross switchers, but not enough energies, which is very weird for this deck and a regular switch, but I'm not doing anything. So, we can cross switch around this Mimikyu too. But pretty insane the lack of energies that we're seeing. Maybe I should have checked my prizes to see if there were more energies in there, but like, geez, where are all of them? And not only that, but we Ionoed, so like we know they're not at the bottom of the deck. In terms of that, whoa, what Giacomo discard once, but I'm not worried about special energies. We do have one V-Guard energy in this deck, but who cares? Got the psychic. Want to come take a knockout? Path to the peak. That does suck, but we do have Pokestop ourselves, so it's fine. Not the end of the world. Who are we going to see first? The Noivern. Okay. I think we'll still put the Darkrai out first. We could... Mm, I mean, cross-switching the Barrel would be big because they're just blah, 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 getting exactly what they want, so... Something we could do. But what I really want to do is get more energies onto the board, just like they're all just hiding from us. So, it's funny, half our hand is just switching cards. Switching cards that we don't really want to use right now. We did lose a few draw support cards from Pokestop, which is, that's the risk you take. We also lost a boss's orders. Only 70. And we can't be hurt, we can't hurt basic Pokemon, or it has protection of basic Pokemon. So first things first, gonna do that, gonna Pokestop. Ultra Ball, we're gonna get rid of two energies, nice, okay. Um, so I think the way we want to do this actually is to get that um, Moltres and use Clara. Look at this. So we can put two down with that. So the first thing we're going to do is concealed cards. Do get an EXP share. So hit that on the wheezing for sure. The switch or the cross switcher. 
I think we want to hit the switch and actually throw the, how many are in there? Three? Okay. So we actually want the cross switchers in there so we can grab them later. And we'll keep the boss. We already lost a boss, so we'll keep one. Got this. Go ahead and Clara. Two. Put that down. Are we hitting eight? I actually should have done this math first. One, two, and this will be good to use against the Mimikyu later. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we can get eight. Ah, we'd have to get a dark patch now because we have seven if we put it on the Galarian Moltres, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times 30, it's two, yeah, that's not a one shot, but unfortunately, if we get a dark patch, we can, or I mean, it is fortunate, but like fortunately, unfortunately, if we get a dark patch onto the wheezing, we can take the knockout. So we'll switch into the dark cry, star abyss. And what's good is we have the boss for next turn two to avoid the Mimikyu annoyance. So get that and I don't think we need the cross switcher, sadly. I think, cause just cross, we already have the pair of cross switchers in there. So getting that third, is not a big deal. So we'll get the trekking shoes to hopefully get something we need. <laughs> Squawk really, no, we don't need that. And our hand is low, so something we wanna note. So research isn't exactly what we want, but we will dark patch onto the Weezmeister, the Carl Weezer and 270. We did the math right. We got the knockout, Oko taking two cards, hopefully some energies, and we can just hit some momentum with the cross switchers, with the bosses, taking pairs of prize cards until we finish the game. That's the idea. Opponent's gonna try to stall with Mimikyu. And you know what? We might get Ionoed, so we might lose the boss, but we do still have cross switchers in the deck. We do still have Radiant Greninja. Might see another path, but we can work around, and I'm thinking that we might want to boss the big barrel. What the heck is this? Does 10 more, that's fine. So we might want to get rid of the big barrel if the Mimikyu staying and the Neuburn's not evolved. Especially because, oh, no, never mind. I thought they used the big barrel already. So that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I mean, I would prefer to boss um, a two-prizer, but between boss, cross switchers, and Galarian Moltres, I'm not really actually worried about the Mimikyu. We do also have a Super Rod just in case, um, just in case the Galarian Moltres does get bossed or something like that. A Raihan though, so if they want to evolve this, that would be great. That's what I want to happen. So fingers crossed on that. And we'll also probably put another energy on, actually we need to put one on Darkrai V so that it's able to attack later. But look at that Galarian Weezing coming in the clutch. Look at that face. Thank you so much. Please evolve, please evolve, please evolve. Path, I'm not super worried about Path. I've already used Star Abyss. It does get in the way. They didn't evolve. So. Uh, I think, I th uh, but they do have this Bidoof. So getting rid of that other Bidoof isn't like the most groundbreaking thing. I feel like maybe just getting rid of the Neuvern's the way to go. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna put this energy down, reset the clock so we can think about this for a second. Who's more important? It is tough to get those energies the way that you want them. So let's see. 
we use the boss now, then we can open up the research for later. Our opponent hasn't taken prize cards, and it's weak against metals. So actually, this thing's not taking anything out. So we are going to boss. I'm just not sure who we want to boss. I'm going to go with the Noivern because it's a pain in the butt to get those energies on there. I know the double bibs is a problem, but uh, it's fine. And I'm going to save the Heavy Ball because we might need an Ultra Ball. Nope, <laughs> we used them all. So sure, why not? Let's see what's in here. The Super Rod, a Dark Cry, and an Energy. Some useful stuff. So we'll do 300. Yep, we already put an Energy down. I'm not retreating. We will smack the crap out of this Noibat. Whoa! Holy crap. Okay. I found a bug. It's actually pretty cool, though. I like that. Um, Got the Dark Cry V-Star. That was crazy. All right, so I guess if you attack and then right-click on your opponent's card, uh, the universe will implode on itself. So we're going to give that a shot next time and see if it works like that again. The Noibat is Noi problem. Starting to rain sideways outside. Honestly, I love that kind of weather. So more of that, please. And uh, that Iono was not super chill, but we got a pretty similar hand anyway. And I think we are all Poke stopped out, so we might actually be stuck with the path for the rest of the game. I can't remember if this deck has two or threes. Two or three, uh, what are these called? Poke stops. And look at me, now I'm the guy taking forever, though not as bad as like a normal Lost Box deck. Just, I needed to do some math that one turn and I got into my minutes deficit. It's fine though. Featherball, getting Noi. No Noi? Noi Verniex has to have no retreat, right? It's a speedy bat. Yeah. So it's either in hand or they don't have it. And they're just going to try to hide behind Mimikyu. Which is something they could do. I mean, we have two Pokemon that aren't EXs to work around that. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll retreat. We'll probably just retreat. We do want to take the cross switcher. And we'll retreat into the Weezing. Because the Weezing can do 50 right now. With only one energy. We'll keep the Dark Patch where it is. And dare them to do something. They could get the Noi. They probably will because they have so few cards in their deck and they can squove it and be barrel around it. Luminous Energy also makes that a lot easier, we'll say. There's the Noi. But again, Noi problem. Can do a lot of damage with the old Darkrai. We got eight down right now. The barrel. Yeah, so they're drawing anything they want to their heart's content. But with only one Noivern as the obstacle and the damage output limited, not super worried. Arvin, what could it be? A switch, that's fine. They do take out the Weezing. I'm not a fan of that. But again, Damage output isn't great. Can't play a stadium. Worn energy, that's fine. Special energy, I wasn't gonna do it anyway. You might actually deck out, or I'm gonna beat you. And if I'm not one-shotting, I don't know if I wanna use the dark patch quite yet. I might want to decide for myself where I wanna put it. Actually, funny, they're only doing 10 more damage. That's how low the Noivern's uh, damage output is, is it barely knocked out that Weezing. Let me just double check something. Does 190. Two retreat. 30 to itself. Do I prefer the Darkrai? I kind of do. Because, I mean, if we double Dark Patch, then... 
or get an energy or whatever. Judge. Interesting. Okay, so right now we're at 210. So we're going to try to hit. We're going to try to hit that energy and get the knockout. I think we could do it. There it is. Sweet. We do have cross switchers just in case they try to stall. So we're going to go ahead and put this down here and take the KO. 270. Doing 270. I feel like this deck could use that tool, that Pokemon tool that does plus 10 damage. Some sort of belt. There's so many belts I forget what they're called, but I can look it up. Or I can make the screen freak out. Let's see. No, it's not choice belt. I feel like I just saw it. Oh, it's right in front. I thought it was blue. It's green. Vitality band. It's actually not a belt. It's a band. Fun fact. So now our opponent's only recourse is this Mimikyu. But again, got the Moltres. This is some sick art, actually. I'm going to get that tattooed right on my chest. So we'll go ahead and retreat. And never mind. They scoop. GG's. Honestly, the best way I think to use Galarian Moltres is with Clara. Clara. So I'm actually going to discard it with this Ultra Ball. And let's see. This is probably a Guardi deck, so I do want to get Darkrai set up soon. But I also think Greninja is pretty imperative. So I'm going to go with that. Also, yes, I'm back with a different hat. I don't know if you noticed. Um, we're going to Greninja. And I don't care what anybody thinks. Concealed cards. We do have draw support for next turn, so we should be fine. Not getting exactly what we want, but we should be able to attack with this Moltres soon. Like next turn, if we get an energy. So I'm going to go ahead and just Dire Flame Wings. And unfortunately have to end my turn there. But <clears throat> now I can ask today's mystery question, which is, who is your favorite Pokemon that does not have an evolution? So no baby Pokemon, no normal evolving, nothing like that. Or I feel like there's like regional ones that have evolutions that don't have no normal ones. I can't think of ones off the top of my head. Megas are okay because I feel like Megas existed to like give Pokemon that don't have evolutions a pseudo evolution, like uh, Sableye, for example. But uh, my favorite Pokemon that does not evolve, Heracross. Sableye does rule though, but I'm starting to hate him because of uh, Lost Zone. I just get really depressed every time I see a Sableye now, and it's starting to be like uh, like Pavlov's Law or Experiment or whatever, where uh, yeah, you know, like the dog hears a bell, wants a treat or something like that. I don't really know how it works. Um, that is how I feel about Sableye. Let me just make sure I know what that Mewtwo is up to. I'm going to go ahead and actually concealed cards again. Hopefully I can get a Pokemon, a Coughing. I'll take that. I'll take a Dark Patch on a Coughing. Because that'll be a Weezing at some point. Five cards in the opponent's hand. Do I want to judge and end up screwing myself? I kind of do. I kind of want to keep the boss. The only problem is there is a chance that I don't get an energy on this Moltres. But I'm here to risk it for the biscuit, so that's what we do. That's what we do. And we got the Weezing too. Does 160. So unless they can evolve it, should be good. If they can evolve it, sucks for us. But I want that sweet, sweet prize card. Got to get that dark Darkrai set up. ASAP, though. That is... Oh, Nest Ball's going to do it. Unless we get Ionode. Only four cards in the opponent's hand. If they don't have the Shadow Rider, that is a good thing. The Mewtwo can get KO'd next turn unless it KOs us just possible there's the shadow rider just in hand because judge is a lie fog crystal also judge just lying to us 
Okay. They do need the Mewtwo V Star, I think, to get the knockout. I honestly don't remember the attack. I just don't have enough space in my hard drive for that. But I'm sure they'll show it to us fairly soon. Uh, let's see. Nope. All right. So we're gonna take the KO. Gotta get this. Uh, gotta get this Dark Ride going though, because V Guard energy helps. Okay, first things first, let's get the Dark Ride down. Second thing second, evolve the GUEs. And... Hmm. I think we're going to go Dark Energy into the discard on this one. Concealed cards. Something useful, please. Trekking shoes, never lose. Let's go. I'll take it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, that's going there. How many dark patches do we have? One. We'll just see. We'll just see. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it, it is kind of. I mean, we're getting prize cards, so it'll be all right. Okay, I was like, what the heck? Why is the uh, Mewtwo still there? I actually did forget that the uh, that the Moltres was not going to survive that attack. So I feel kind of silly for that. Um, Darkrai will survive. I can't see Darkrai going down. So, And we have a Nest Ball for another one. So that's what I'm going to go with. And I'll feel real silly if it gets knocked out. I'll tell you that much. Opponent doesn't have a full hand. They might be able to get some nonsense set up. Nest ball into another shadow. Yep. That's fine. We just need to take out the one VMAX. Then we can claim victory. But they will have easy access to their assets in a way that we won't. But we do have Dark Patch. And... That's about it. <laughs> trekking shoes. We go trekking shoes. They'll be doing not quite enough. Looks like they'll take out the Wheeze. Maybe the maybe the Greninja. I'm feeling the Wheeze though. Yeah. So that's less than ideal, but we do again. Just still need to take out one. And now we have a healthy Dark Ride, who will be evolving, and we'll get another one out. And we still have the Greninja to draw some cards. I do want to get another Dark Patch in the discard, though, because that's what I want to pull out. I know it's super helpful, actually. Only three cards, so that's not ideal. I think, actually, what we're going to do... Um, we'll attach... We'll attach this one. Because the V-Guard does help, I think. I don't know. I didn't feel like doing quick math. Ooh, got the dark patch. Okay, okay, okay. Pokestop. We really don't need any. We could use more items though, so we will Pokestop. We don't really need exactly more energy. Boss sucks. Um, we don't necessarily need more energy in the discard. Uh, hold on, inspect board. We do have an Ultra Ball, but it doesn't hurt to have it in our hand. Yes. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, what are we doing right now? Like nothing, right? 120? A little dark patch. 180, and then a double dark patch. Isn't doing enough, but is doing a worthwhile amount. And I think that's, that's what we're gonna wanna go with, Star Abyss. Three, they need three cards to get back to. So, pop on those patches. Patches O'Houlihan. 
300, almost there. If only this wasn't a V-Guard, but we should be able to survive the attack. If we don't, this Dark Cry V should be able to clean up. But we'll just have to see. Lady, what do you do? Four energy cards and put them in your hand? Lady, all the energy cards. Can they evolve the Calyrex though? And if they can, I don't think they're taking the KO. Clara will help us. We did lose a boss. We've got cross switchers. I don't know if one's in the discard though. None of them are in the discard. So that's good. And the thing is that Mimikyu is going to be moving so slow if it's going to try to knock out Darkrai that it'll buy us some time to get Clara. Unless... Or a boss or a cross switcher, unless it's in, unless all those cards are prized, but that shouldn't be the case. There's one. All right, we're just gonna poke a stop our way into another cross switcher. Dang. That's fine. I'm gonna attack for zero. You can't stop me. I'm still making the animation happen because I'm an animaniac. Panamanian. I'm I'm Panamanian. I'm a Panamaniac. And this Shadow Rider is holding on longer than I thought it would with the weakness consideration. But with all those energies in its hand, they should be able to get the Mimikyu doing some damage. But what we really want, Clara, Cross Switcher, Boss, or even uh, research to make those things happen faster. All right, here comes 70 to my face. If I have a face, I don't really know if Darkrai really has a face. I don't really know what to call it. It has like the top of its head. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, eyeball lights up, that's so sick. Yeah, it's kind of a headless horseman, so I don't really think it has a face. Well, I'm glad we could discuss the anatomy of Darkrai. Another Poke Stop that is pretty useless. Huh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> wow. All right. Um. Well, that G Moltres is down there, so did we lose the G Wees as well? Yes, we did. A lot of Gs. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to stay in pat. If they want to retreat and bring out a Calyrex, that might be a problem. But all we have to do is hit one of our four cross switchers. We're drawing cards here. We do have this, so if they're doing two, they need to do 230. And if they retreat, they actually are doing 230. So they can get the knockout and then they just need boss, which I'm sure they'll hit because they're drawing like crazy. You know, we can't hit one of our cross switchers, but I'm sure they'll get boss. So they used a boss. They have used one. All we need is a cross switcher. That's all we need. Two cards down. Another Calyrex. Cresselia. Alrighty then. Oh boy. I'm like kind of feeling like we're going to blow this because we can't get the cross switcher. I'm starting to get pretty nervous, guys. I'm not going to lie. Ghost Eye. Okay. I actually would prefer that, that over them knocking out the Dark Rai. Dark Patch has to go on a darkness Pokemon. So first thing we're gonna do is conceal these cards, not letting anybody look at them. There's the Clara that doesn't exactly get us out of it. So we're gonna go ahead and Pokestop two. <laughs> Jeez, man, 
All right, I'm gonna nest ball to make sure that the cross switcher's in the deck. There's three of them. All right, let's look at more cards. That's not a cross switcher, so I'm gonna say no. That's also not a cross switcher, but it's not too bad. Doesn't hurt. I mean, it's fine. I'll put it, I, 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 whatever. Um, let's try to get one. Nope, that's not a cross switcher. Neither is that. So what we're gonna do instead is Clara for Galarian Moltres and two energies. Well, I don't think I need another Pokemon, but for the sake of not decking out, no, nah, I think I'm fine. Okay. Drop that little bean. Bam, bam. Oh, nope. Okay, I gotta, gotta do that. Don't mess this up, Pat. All right, Dark Patch first. And then Retreat. Into that. One more here, just in case we need it. And let's take the KO on the Mimikyu. That was annoying. But not the end of the world. And if they put one of these Calyrex out, that's game. So, and if they don't, we could hit a Cross Switcher. Or maybe we can't. Uh, 10 cards in deck. We're going to go through four of them. And three of them are cross switchers. So 30% of the deck and we're is cross switchers. And we're going through uh, at least 40% of the deck. <laughs> and there's another Mimikyu. So that's less than ideal. But... Oh, nope. This, this Moltres is going to get knocked out. So that stinks. So yeah, we actually like absolutely need a cross switcher because they could boss us next turn and that could be that. Taking out this Cresselia uh, would not win the game for us. We just need to hit one cross switcher. Can we do it? Or do we have the worst luck in the world? Let's see on the next episode of Cool Trader Pat. We're actually gonna put this guy out front. Because it's all about cross switchers. Okay. There were three in the deck. I'm gonna double check this. There's three cross switchers. So we're gonna go Professor's Research. <laughs> okay, we got it. And Choice Belt, because we're a big dumb meanie. And then Cross Switch into this one. Almost blew it, two cards in the deck. I'll take it, 420, baby! GG's, my friend. Hope you enjoyed the video.